Now to a New England company creating quite a buzz with its new product, Bulletproof Backpacks. They're made by a company called MJ Safety Solutions. The men behind it are two local fathers. Mike Polanzi and Joe Curran are my guests tonight. They join me to talk about what inspired the idea and how it's being received by the public. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thank you for having me. I know this has been around a lot. You've had an awful lot of publicity. But for those who may not be aware, take us back to where the idea was born. I know it was right after Columbine. Yes. Uh, basically, what happened after Columbine, Mike and I, who have been you know, friends for a long time, and we're avid sportsmen and belong to gun clubs, and, uh, and we know what a damage a bullet can do. We got very real nervous about our own kids going to school. Mike's were in high school and junior high at the time, and mine were younger. So we started talking about, you know, what we could do to keep our kids safe. And we looked around, and there was nothing that really met the criteria of what we wanted. And we went to the schools, did some research, and, and found out that they were carrying backpacks in their school. So we developed my child's pack, which is ultra lightweight backpack but there are lots of uh, bulletproof vests and materials on the market why did you think you had to start from scratch i mean it may not have been a backpack but th there are i mean the police have them other law enforcement agencies and right well we wanted to come up with something that was feasible as far as price wise and weight uh bulletproof vests worn by police weight eight ten twelve pounds uh, too heavy material to incorporate into something that school children are going to be using. And the price point, those materials uh, cost between $500 and $800. Um, so we came up with a product that weighs 20 ounces and then we can actually put into the public for $175. Pick one of those things up uh, and just hold it for us. And, and while you talk about uh, what, what was the initial reaction? I mean, some people right away thought, oh, you're trying to cash in on the paranoia of Columbine and the unfortunate tragedy of Virginia Tech. Was there some negative uh, reaction when you came out with the idea? There was some negative reaction uh, from some people in the beginning. And we explained it to a lot of people that we teach our children about the dangers of society now. Uh, when I was in school, we did fire drills. Now they're doing fire drills along with armed intruder drills what to do in case of a, a gunman in the school. They shut down, the, they lock the doors, they shut the lights off, they have the children line up against the wall. We actually went to our children's schools to ask them what their policy and procedure was in case of an armed intruder. And unfortunately, it's a time, you know, sign of the times that we have this threat now. It's a pretty sad time. But, it you is. Know, pretty it sad is. indictment of our society when we got to think about uh, that kind of thing. But. Uh, so you have two two different models, and they weigh about 20 ounces more than a regular backpack, right? Right, that's correct. Yeah. Yes. Now, when th that video, by the way, we were looking at was from YouTube that right. uh, you yeah. have posted yeah. on there, and there's some specifics on uh, the uh, MJ backpacks, and they, they're priced at $175. Uh, and somebody said, I heard, well, what's a backpack going to do if somebody is shooting at you from the front? And obviously, there's an answer to that. Right. You, you it's the it. shield, right. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. the shield. Mm -hmm. And where was this material around? Is it something that you had some engineers develop, or how did that? Uh, no, we didn't have it. We didn't develop it. We um, we did a lot of research. There's, there's a lot of good material out there, uh, ballistic material. The, the police vests nowadays are fabulous. They're very flexible, very soft for the soft body armor. But they're heavy. Uh, they're heavy, but the, the lighter ones are, are too flexible for our application. So we needed something that was semi-rigid that would hold the form of a backpack so it wouldn't collapse down into it. And there's been a lot of video in some of the, on YouTube where uh, you're shooting at these backpacks or at least the material. And where is that piece of uh, uh, material? Let me just hang on to that. There you go. Uh, this, this particular piece of material, this is the bulletproof material which was actually shot at and mm -hmm. stopped, what, a 9 millimeter nine block? Yes. It, right. uh, it stopped at certainly 22 caliber. What else did you fire at this? And we went through a, a real lot of testing, um, probably about two years of testing that particular product, and and we fired everything at it, from 12 gauge shotgun, 44 magnum, 357. We we fired everything that we had at it, and, and from fairly close range. Looking at that, absolutely, scene. yeah, everything was because the the, sh the majority of shoot, school shootings happened within five to ten feet, so we wanted to accurately you know, tested to, to what it was. Have you had any interest uh, from the military? We've not heard yeah. from the military, 
who we have heard from that we didn't expect or we didn't really think about were people commuting in inner cities on trains, on buses. And really? They've told us through emails and through phone calls that they carry their belongings in backpacks anyways, and they thought it was a great idea to have a backpack that could give them some more protection in public transportation. And, and sales are going well. You're mass producing these backpacks now? Yeah, we, we had to increase, have the factory increase uh, making. So we're about two weeks behind right now. Uh, with getting them produced to, to meet the orders that we have. And how can folks get in touch? Via the internet? They can go to the internet. Uh, which is? MyChildsPack.com. MyChildsPack.com. Mm -hmm. well, it's they, on the screen, right? Uh, and, 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 uh, and there's a number they can call, 978-762-0044. Uh, That'll get you to the retail store in Danvers. Oh, you do have a retail store? Well, Mike owns a sporting goods shop okay. in Danvers, Magnum Sporting Goods, and that's where we're being based out of. Okay. Well, it's good to talk to you guys and meet you. And good right. luck. Thank you. Uh, Appreciate it. Well, let's hope uh, if you sell a million of them, they'll never have to be used. I, uh, we pray for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Mike Palanzi and Joe Curran, thanks very much. Thank you very MJ much. MJ Safety Solutions.